what in the name of Metallica is going on? Whoa, hey, what's going on guys? Dr. Group 7 signing in back with Easy RPG Player for the Nintendo Brick? No, that's that's not right. Let's let's try that again. So this is Easy RPG Player for the Nintendo. No, not the brick. I swear my dark energy is all over the place. So let's try this one again. Concentrate. Concentrate. So this is Easy RPG Player for the Nintendo Switch. We got an update for Easy RPG Player. It's a program that allows to play games like these RPG games created with RPG Maker 2000 and 2003. These games that you're seeing are all free to play and open source. These are created with RPG Maker, Easy RPG Maker. I'll be showing you guys how to install this on the Nintendo Switch for and uh, about the place. You know what? Let's start with the video and then I'll talk about what's happening with the PS Vita version. Okay, first things first, you need a jailbroken place to, uh, Really, nigga? You need a jailbroken Nintendo Switch in order for this to work. If you want to refer to a tutorial video, links in the description and my latest. You can also refer to the latest update atmosphere tutorial video where I show how to update both the official and the custom firmware to their latest version. So you can check that video out. I'm hoping it's not going to get flagged. Okay, so once making sure that you have Atmosphere Custom Firmware running, you're gonna need a data cable. So just plug this in. And once this gets plugged in, you're going to head over to the HB menu. Scroll all the way to the right until you see USB file transfer. Once your Nintendo Switches are connected, I'm going to show you guys the next step on the PC itself. Okay, so we're on our PC. Disregard this tab. Now, you're going to go to the link that will be provided in the description and click on Nintendo Switch. I'm going to download the latest version of Easy RPG Player, which is version 0.8.1. Alright, so you're going to get a rare file. Just extract the rare file and no win rare. I'm not going to buy you. Okay, you're going to get the Easy RPG extracted folder. Head over into the folder. You're going to get a subfolder. Now, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna copy the subfolder, then jump right into our Nintendo Switch's SD card and look for the Switch folder. Paste that subfolder here. It should look something like this. Once you're done with the copying and pasting process, you're going to transfer all your game files. You can do it in two ways. One, you can extract the game files or you can just transfer them as is in WinRare or ZIF format. Now, since these games are all free to play and open source, so we're in the green. I'm going to be providing you guys the proper links because the Easy RPG Player only works with the 2000 and 2003 versions of games. Uh, what that means is the latest versions of the games, like I think there's NX and all of that sort. And I'll be providing you with the proper games on my Discord, obviously. So please make sure to follow my invite. You'll be all good to go. It should look something like this. All you have to do is just download one of these games and it would come in zip format. Now one of the games I have extracted, which is Dark Quest, the one that I just started my video with. So I've transferred the zipped format of one game and extracted format of the other one. Just copy and paste and transfer it right into the easy RPG player folder. Now, this is how you're going to transfer game files. If by any chance the zipped or the archived format games are not working, you just try extracting them and just pasting them, you know. Alright, that's basically it with the installation process of this homebrew. We're back to our Nintendo Switches. Just press the plus button to disconnect the USB transfer. Just disconnect your USB-C as well. Homebrew menu, scroll until you see Easy RPG Player. It should show up uh, if you have followed the steps that I've shown properly and it should look something like this. There's like four tabs, games, settings, about and exit. Under the settings tab you have video options where you can get sub options like stretching, like you know the width of the window screen like this. You can just totally stretch it and FPS counter, just show the FPS counter, audio, background music volume, SFX volume and all of that sort. Input, you can just change the key button mapping. I don't think these are necessary for most of you guys, including myself. 
now i'm just showing you guys regardless now they're under the engine tab there's just you know startup logo there's custom and different types of like options you really do not need to do anything uh, if you have made any kind of changes you just save the settings and that's basically it it just shows where the config.inf file has been saved you're just gonna head over to the games and press on the a button that's going to select the games that we have copied and pasted and after that that's it it's all good to go so for any rpg fanatics out there who wants to experience some fan made games some open source games that are really interesting and like out of the way or something like that then definitely give this a try and while you're in game you can press the plus button that's going to bring up the system specific menu and yeah that's basically it now for the playstation vita version i don't know what's going on you know what it's better that i show you guys okay so i'm on the playstation vita here let's just slide up the nintendo switch for a little bit i've tried my best and i couldn't i couldn't figure this out let's just install this package and i'll show you guys what i'm facing and i tried out different versions for some reason it just wouldn't want to work i'm just receiving this error message that is really annoying that's basically it i'm getting the c2128281 error and unfortunately even the developers of this rpg easy rpg player are not able to come up with any solutions that i could find or see because i've just checked one forum where one guy was facing this issue and unfortunately the developer said that none of them owns a playstation vita for them to check this one out and they just provided a link and it just wouldn't work i'll just show it to you guys as, i mean through pictures so i tried different switching plugins and all of that sort and it's just giving me this error unfortunately it's not working for me so i just decided to show it to you guys through my nintendo switch a very special thanks to easy rpg team for making this possible and a very very special thanks to Rin Garamante for both the versions the PlayStation Vita and the Nintendo Switch versions so yeah that's basically it easy RPG player version 0.8.1 which was released a couple of days back it's time for me to wrap this tutorial up I'm gonna see you guys on the next one don't forget to like and subscribe Dr. Brute 7 signing off